Welcome back, my amazing fifth grade artists. For our next project, we'll be focusing on the art of origami. So what is origami? Origami is the art of paper folding. Its name derives from the Japanese words ori, which means folding, and kami, which means paper. Traditional origami consists of folding a single sheet of square paper, often with a colored side, into a sculpture without cutting, gluing, taping, or even marking it. There are lots of different types of origami, ranging from a more simpler version to a more intricate and detailed version. Which brings us to our next project, which is an origami blinking dragon eye. This is part one. Our learning goal is a sculpture, and a sculpture is when we produce a work of art through sculpture that is three-dimensional and utilizes different paper techniques. Our learning targets for this project are, I can use movement in my art, and I can create a paper sculpture. The materials you'll need for today are a square piece of paper. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. <clears throat> so for today's project, when we're creating our blinking eye, you're gonna need to have a square piece of paper. If all you have is a rectangular piece of paper, I'm gonna show you how you can turn this into a square pretty quickly. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the corner of one of the rectangle parts and you're gonna fold it up and you're going to make sure that you can get as close to perfect as you can so that it makes a nice sharp point and you wanna fold it in half and you're gonna cut off this excess piece right here. And once you cut this off, it's going to make a perfect square. So you wanna cut the square like so. And now when you, you can throw that piece away and when you open it up, you're gonna have your square. All right, so now we're ready. We have our square. All right, so our first step is you're actually going to fold it in half. So if you've already done this, then you're just going to refold it. If you haven't, you're gonna to wanna to do start fold it corner to corner, push hard on the crease, and then you're gonna to wanna to open it up, and then you're gonna to wanna to take this piece of paper, and you're gonna to wanna to fold it again corner to corner. And you're doing this so that you're creating an X inside the paper when we open it up. So when you open it up, you're gonna see an X. The next step is we're gonna turn our paper, and then we're going to fold just this corner to the center. So we are gonna fold up, Push hard on your creases, and you're gonna fold from the top to the center, and again, folding hard with the creases. Now, you're looking at it, you can see your fold line in the center, and you have your two pieces that are touching in the middle. You're going to take this bottom part, so from the fold down, you're going to, it's going to be kind of like it's split in half, and we're gonna fold it up. So you're gonna hold and press this middle part, make sure that this doesn't move because you want it to stay here. And we're gonna fold it in half. And you're gonna push the creases. And you're gonna do the same thing at the top. So you're gonna fold from the top into the middle. You don't wanna overlap these two pieces. We want them to just touch. So you don't wanna overlap, you just want them to touch because we should be able to easily open it. So it should start to look like it's kind of opening. Now, once you're finished doing that step, full, open the whole entire thing up. So you're gonna open the whole paper up and you're gonna flip it over upside down. Once you flip it over upside down, these two pieces are naturally going to wanna fold back down and that's fine because we want them to. So we wanna push these two top pieces, top and bottom pieces, I'm sorry, fold one top down and the bottom part. And now we're gonna fold it and you're gonna fold it again down. So we're folding along the fold line, along the fold line. And right now, we should have two, piece, two pieces, one flap here. And now we're gonna stop here so we can pick up next week. Don't forget to put your project in your art box until next week. All right, see you next time.